Oh, what's going on? Welcome back. No power in this vintage cube draft here that we're going to do. So, uh, what do we take? What's flooded strand? Flooded strand's pretty good. I could see taking a flooded strand. Nothing else is super exciting. If Torsten comes back or Trumpeting Carnosaur, I will take those. So we'll take a flooded strand to start. Jace, Wielder of Mysteries, Exume, Bayou, which does not go with a Flooded Strand at all. Fiery Confluence is good. Carnosaur is fun. I agree with you. Could take Jitte. Jitte's a busted magic card. It's a messed up magic card. Well, well, well. I mean, Jason's just forming to draw a card, right? Like, that's not bad. Triple blue, though. In this economy? Whew. Asking for a lot, buddy. Could just be Fiery Confluence with a Flooded Strand, Spire Bluff Canal. Could take the Bayou. Wow. Wow, Stuart. I'm taking the Bayou. Let's just take the good lands. Oh, now we can take this Underground River? Underground Sea, rather? Um, Bitter Triumph is good. Atali is pretty sweet. But let's see what all these good lands get us. Okay. Now we, now we can take an actual... Toxic Deluge is pretty good. I do like a Toxic Deluge quite a bit. And all three of our lands can... Can cast a Toxic Deluge. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. You ever killed a bunch of guys with Toxic Deluge? What do we got? Ketria Triumph, Haunted Ridge. So two red lands, the one color that we're not really interested in. I like Sword of the Meek here. Thopter Foundry Sword has been super fun. I thought Toxic Deluge would be the sequel. I have never been here, but I do remember you playing in a prototype with Eldrazi. Happy New Year. <laughs> I have been here quite a bit. Happy New Year. Really appreciate it. Uh, is it Grave Daddy? Is it Torok? I think it's just Sword. I think Sword has a cool upside if we get the Thopter Foundry. And I think we're in good a good position to cast that being black-blue. Uh, let's take a Dark Ritual here. Dark Ritual is pretty sweet. Uh, Archon of Cruelty is probably too good to pass here. I like Othari. I like Uro. I like all these legendary two-color creatures. They're all pretty sweet, but for my money, Archon of Cruelty is the goat. Him to Torok. Okay, all these are good black cards. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I do like a Metamorph and a Grist, but him to Torok just messes up plans. Okay, Fairy Mastermind, Dece, Dece. Yogmoth. I don't know if Yogmoth makes the cut anymore. I don't even know if... I've never seen someone cast or, or draft a Yogmoth in cube. Am I crazy? Has anyone seen... Has anyone ever seen that? There's an Exhum, and the Jace came back. 
Yeah, we can just take Exhum here. Oh, Damnation and the Cryptic came back. That's fascinating. Also a Kogla, which we can reanimate if we want to. Um, I don't think we're Cryptic commanding. I don't even like this because you can't discard their creature, which is kind of what you want to do when you have like reanimate. It's kind of weird. I'm just going to take the Kogla here. Also, we can just play this and play Sentinel. We can easily be Soul Tie. Yeah, I'm going to take Sentinel here. That's, oh, Torok came back? Okay. All right, it looks like we're just leaning towards black green mid range, which is kind of sweet. Nature's Claim is a nice little sideboard card. All right. Oh, Soul Ring's a nice little sideboard card. And Thopter Foundry? No! <laughs> Don't do it. All right, we're going to take Soul Ring here because it's just going to be generally better. And this very well might come back. I mean, this has Fractured Identity, Ophiomancer, Worm Coil, Crucible, Rex. This. We're going to take Soul Ring because it's Soul Ring. But Thopter Foundry coming back would be chef's kiss one ring is pretty sweet here oh boy i want this bloodstained mire a lot but i also want one ring a little bit more than that so i think we're taking the one the one -th ringeth i am the one who rings i don't hate shallow grave here i think we want marsh flats though it gets all of our lands this pack's also pretty good. If if like Sheldock or Windswept or Shallow Grave came back, I'd be okay with that. <sighs> Definitely taking Marsh Flats though. I'm not a man who's easy to convince to draft Saltai. That's true. You don't want to. You don't want to get. You don't want to try to convince me to do that. You'll be here for hours. Oh, a creeping tar pit. Oh, a misty rainforest though, buddy. You don't have to. Don't you don't got to threaten me with a good time. I love Jace, but I'm not going to take a double blue card with this configuration right now. I think we're just taking Misty because you know why. Oh, I like a duress. I like fatal push. I like Knight's Whisper. Hmm, it might just be fatal push. What do we got? Toxic Deluge. Shut up and take Could my be money. Fatal push. Soul Ring donated one dollar. Hey Frank, glad you made the right choice. Me too, Soul Ring. Me too. Thanks, pal. I'll take Fatal Push. I'm not gonna regret taking Fatal. I take the cards that let you cheat, and then I take the cards that find me those cards. Smart. Smart. Wise words from Nathan. I do like a channel, especially if we're black green. I'm going to take the channel. Like that could still be a turn four Archon if we have black, black, green, green. Oh, I will take a Baleful Strix. Yeah, that guy's just good. Oh, Retrofitter Foundry's interesting as well. Hmm. No, I think we're Baleful Strixing here. Okay, this I think this is the last 22. This would be 23. No, I think there's two. Ah, two more. I might just take Oddity as like a beater. Displacer Kitten, are you any good? Not really in our deck. Inquisition is kind of meh. I'll just take the Oddity. Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah, boy. Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> Satisfying. Okay, uh, Nissa's pretty good. 
Yeah, I'll just take a Nissa. I don't think I care about spelunking. If that blooming marsh comes back, I'll be very satisfied. What? I just clicked. I, I clicked submit. Oh, Sheldock came back. So did Kappa Cannoneer. I don't think we're a Kappa Cannoneer deck, but I will take a Sheldock this late. That's pretty funny. Oh, I'll take Shadow Spear. I don't think we're going to play any of the blue cards. We do have a channel now. And a hymn to Torok. Give me that Blooming Marsh. No one's, no one needs to be black-green. You're already passing me the good black cards. Waterlog Grove? Okay. I think that's better than a tower. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Satisfying. That was a that was a nice little treat there. <coughs> oh, and a mox jet. <laughs> How fitting. Beautiful. I would love this animate dead. Maybe that'll come back too, because really no one's taking the good cards. Fast bond could also be good, but yeah, we're just taking mox jet. Mox jet soaring seems good. Yep, that's a bingo as well. So many bingos. Let's. Let's sort by name. Here's a gristle brand. We have a lot of big creatures that I would love to find a way to cast. We don't have a ton of discard outlets, and by that I mean I don't think we have literally one. So that's interesting. I've never been compelled to take Nettle Cyst. Uh, it might just be Palantir here. I feel like we have enough good top end cards. And I also feel like it's probably more realistic to just cast these guys. Whereas Palantir is like consistent card advantage. Primeval Titan is a good one, especially if we're trying to cast those guys. I think we're just taking grief here. Oh, you're right. I did misclick. Sorry. Crab can go in the main deck. My bad. Thanks for good looking out, Shanala. I also think Primeval or Ogre Kazlan will come back. <laughs> sure, we'll take an Oko. <laughs> Why not? What is this? 23 plus 10, 33. This is fourth pick Oko? Sure. You know what? Oh, Fallen Shinobi? Sure. You know what? I'll take a Fallen Shinobi if you're gonna just gonna give me all my favorite cards. Who am I to who am I to say no? Oh boy. MTG Pyro hitting the goal. Really appreciate you, buddy. I knew you would. As soon as I saw you, I was like, this dude's gonna go nuts. MTG Pyro, man. You have been a a gentleman and a scholar. Also, I believe Twitch subs are 25% off until the new year. Is that correct? If so, feel free to subscribe and support the channel. It's a great way to do so. Um oh well, let's take a Seekers Chariot, actually. I almost didn't even see that. <clears throat> I just had a little cough there. Uh, Watery Grave. That's nice. That'll go well with our underground seed for sure. Here's Valky, and we just passed Bring to Light. We don't have any way to get five colors, though. Oh, we only need two, though, don't you? Still. Yeah, we have infinite playables right now. I'm just taking the extra lands. That's a late through the breach, man. What does Green Sun get? Sentinel, Chariot, Oddity. Eh, we can take the channel out. We're just not hitting it. I'll take... No, I think we just want Dothy Voidwalker. That guy's just a... Oh, the animate did, did come back. <sighs> sure. I mean, this card's just good. Oh, boy. Gee willikers. Yeah, sure, we're not passing in 
Chromo Seed Shark is good. Outland, Outland Liberator is a card I kind of like having. We don't have, other than Nature's Claim, we don't have a ton of artifact removal. Like the soonest is Koglet 6. So just having a two drop that does that is nice. Primeval Titan came back. Roll my eyes. Yeah, just taking prime time. Rafelos also came back. I don't think we're playing Rafelos. Where we Beseech here? Beseech gets like Oko. It gets one of the other half of Thopter Sword. I'll take a Beseech. I don't think we're going to play it. Oh, Deep Cavern Bat's actually great with Fallen Shinobi. All of these are fine. Wow, this is like... This is an embarrassment of riches here. Let's get rid of Evolve Sleeper, I think. Put Alan Liberator on the board. We did get the Thopter Sword combo. Take out Dryad. Take out Elven... Nope. Oh, take out Elvenwald Oddity. I'm kind of maybe on Beseech. Did, can you sacrifice artifacts or just enchantments? What's bargain? Oh, an artifact. Artifact is nice because Sentinel of the Nameless City and Oko give us artifacts. The brainstorm is fine, but I have far too many cards and I'm not going to splash. I'm not like I'm barely splashing blue for Oko and Fallen Shinobi. I, like, I'm definitely not interested in splashing for a brainstorm. Yes, we could also not only does Beseech get the one ring, but we can also sack the one ring with Beseech if it gets out of control, which is pretty sweet. This is 25. I'm very tempted to Toxic Deluge in the board because we're making a lot of creatures. This is, oh, Shadow Spear. Easy, easy cut. This is actually a great 23. And our mana base is pretty nuts for, I might not even play Sheldock. Like, I don't know. Maybe with these four, eh, it's probably worth it still. Just a, a land that only produces blue is pretty rough. Especially because we have double black, double black. Torok wants triple black. This wants triple black. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to be honest. We're definitely not cutting Shinobi. Like, we have Deep Cavern Bat. We have Foundry Tokens, Baleful Strix. We have Dothy Voidwalker. We have literally tons of creatures that can get through to, to Fallen Shinobi. Um, so blue sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six blue sources. So that is single island. Let's actually see what our mana base looks like. And if we want to just toss in a shell dock isle. Sort by Colares. And put Mox Jet over here. You have a drag record. I definitely don't. That was an outlier. Okay, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve black sources. Deal. Green, we have one, two. Flood Strand, you get a green? I don't think so. No. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe. Four. This is 11, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I think we go up to 8 here. Cut the blue and add Sheldock. I mean, Sheldock is going to be just better than an island. If we were going to draw an island, I'd rather draw Sheldock. <clears throat> Plus late game, it's just a free card. This deck looks pretty sweet. Let's Beseech here. Or let's uh, screenshot so we can see what we can get with Beseech. Oh no, what have I done? Uh, three drops. Also, always so many, uh, all so many Lord of the Rings cards. <laughs> always Palantir, always One Ring. Yeah, this looks pretty sweet. All right. If you build a thousand bridges and cut Shinobi once, all anyone will remember 
is that you cut Shinobi. Doesn't sound wrong. All right. Sultai is back on the menu, boys. This is a turn to Deep Cavern Bat. Or deep turn to Fallen Shinobi. Wow, we're going to live the dream. Oh my god. We don't even have to play a land. This is the hand. Let me see your little hand. Oh, you can't do anything here. Uh, I'll just take Kithian, I guess. It's the only card I think you could have played. Sure. And now we just get to go Fallen Shinobi off Dark Ritual, play one of their lands. Ooh. Oh, we gotta do the Dark Ritual first. Bial! <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> Ancestral Recall! <laughs> I accept. Oh, good lord. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Wow. I don't think we're playing this guy. We can just leave that guy in the in the forbidden zone. Good. You don't have to tell me. Like I'm a fallen I'm fallen shinobi stand number one over here, dude. I told you fallen shinobi was good. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Um yes, this is fine. Yep, good old, good old Shithian. Okay, so we know this guy's gone, we know the plane's gone, mountain's gone, Lotus Pulse, we need Kappa and Island. So here's the question, if we Fatal Push now, they might not block, no, we have to get rid of both. But they might just block with this guy, actually, so... Yeah, this might be their forever chumper. And I'd rather get rid of the Luris. Or just hit with Fallen Shinobi. And by hit, I mean connect. We're definitely hitting with Fallen Shinobi. Wow, they're just going to let us do it again. Top. Well, I will definitely play your island. I will also play your top. I guess we're Dolphy Voidwalkering. I think that's just better because if they're putting things in the graveyard with... They do get another bring back with Luris, but that's fine. They, like... Baby, baby. Fascinating. Well, we can top here, which is nice. This is going well. Nissa Marsh Swamp. I think we're just going to take the Nissa. I like that the box moves and there's one card left. So they have three power here. Okay. Well, let's get in. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gone forever, but not forgotten. Is it just the Sika's Chariot here? Probably. I could cast this for five, but I think she's better when more mana is spent. I 
And now we have double blocks for Luris. And by double, I mean two creatures. Yeah, you can have that guy. That's totally fine. Wait, what? Did it trigger itself? What? What am I missing here? Why did it trigger? Am I missing something? Someone in the chat has to know why this triggered. When an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter on it, and it can't be blocked. It doesn't say another, but it's not in play. <laughs> it doesn't... Cards don't trigger themselves. Like, when they come into play, because they're not in play at that moment. This never triggers itself. This does never comes into play as a 5-5. Five five. It's a 4-4. Four four. It always triggers itself. That seems incorrect. Hold on, I'm looking it up. Kappa always triggers itself? What? That feels incorrect. I don't know. That's weird. Wow, enters the battlefield ability is triggering a permanent enters the battlefield. Tell me more. <laughs> Go on. Uh, yeah, none of these are good. That's unfortunate. That seems nuts to me. I do not know. That... I don't, I don't, I guess I'm to understand, I guess it seems unintuitive because like typically you would just make it a five, five and have it say whenever another artifact enters the battlefield, put a one, one counter on it. Like it's kind of unintuitive that way. What do you got exiled over here? Nothing good. Why is it no longer tearing up legacy? I wasn't sure about that. Like it's, it seems still seems very good. So we can play this and next turn we can kill this guy. However, if it can't be blocked and they have an artifact, that's obnoxious. One, two, three, four, five. Very tempted to attack here. If they block, I'm totally fine with that. If they double block, that seems fine too. Really? Interesting. All right, I think we're just gonna bat here. Um, oh, Lion Sash, sure, we can take that. Now you just have a Plains. Um, play Marsh. And then next time we can play Nissa pretty big. Big Nissa, check it and see. <clears throat>
This would definitely not be... By interesting, I think you mean terrible. This card seems like it would be a nightmare in modern. Oh, you just can't kill it? Cool. <laughs> what did they play? They play planes? Okay, so that's... Oh, wow, fantastic draws. Talisman into Stoneforge. Yep, seems good. Glimmer Lens? Okay, that's not terrible. I mean, it does trigger this guy again, which is 13 total damage that can't be blocked, which is kind of a pain in the ass. This is a surprising recovery from a, a game where I cast their Ancestral and I had to turn two Fallen Shinobi. Yeah, I didn't think they were bold enough to attack here. Oh, Kogla? Hmm, that doesn't do... Actually, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, okay, cool. That just doesn't kill anything on Forge. It kills their Stone Forge, um, which is fine. So, Voidwalker can get any of these back, and then that just gets not much. God, Ward 4 is. Unreal. I mean, next turn we can attack and then kill it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Big Coca Cola. Um, yeah, we'll just attack with the small guys. That can get in there. Three, four, five, six. We can put them to four. All right. Yeah, I feel like we're we're doing fine here. We know they have a glimmer lens and what whatever they draw. <clears throat> yeah, we probably could have missed it in overrun. Um, we have two forests. I don't know if that's good enough. Wait, they really just hit all the artifacts, don't they? My deck is full of artifacts. Sure. That's the hand. So now this guy's an eight eight. I guess now we're gonna we're definitely gonna overrun here, but. So sort of one, two, yeah, I guess it probably definitely would have been enough. It definitely would have been enough last turn. This is an extra four, and one of these guys would have gotten through. We should have just won the game last turn, but I'm not about winning. I'm, I'm about doing cool stuff, so. Interesting. Well, they have no cards, so they're basically dead. Yeah, two, it would have been lethal. We'll just say I gave them an extra turn, you know. And now we're just going to play another forest to just to just to make it a little bit better, you know, just for the good times. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, six, seven. Uh, I will pay one. <laughs> I have no interest in letting you draw like counter spell. Okay, <laughs> that's satisfying. All right, well, that was a surprising amount of fight considering we played turn two of Fallen Shinobi. We're definitely bringing in Nature's Claim and Outland Liberator. Maybe Deluge as well. Uh, let's take out Torok. Actually, Torok seems very good here. We have so many ways to, to have black mana. Take out Primeval Titan. Take out Archon. Archon just seems good, too. Take out Beseech. I kind of do want Archon in here. So we'll just play 41 because we have Soaring and Dark Ritual. So, And now we get to have Archon in our opening hand because we we chose to keep it. <laughs> so, that's how it goes. All right. Um, I don't know if this hand is any good. Their deck seems... Fairly aggressive. Um, I think we're mulliganing this. Yeah, that seems better, I think. Can ship a swamp for sure. Any blue sources a turn two Oko. Turn one, two, three. This is a turn one Vesigus Chariot. <laughs> okay. Well, surely. 
Uh, so we go Bayou, Mox Jet, tap the jet for Ritual. One, one, two, three. That would have just been three. So we did need this. We'll use one of this for this guy. Green and a Seeker's Chariot. All right. <clears throat> that seems good. Mm. Sorry, babe. Oh my God, you guys are going crazy. Okay. Had uh oh oh that's Oko though. That's an Oko. Actually I could plus and turn the cat into a I can turn a cat into an elk and then make another three three, which seems better. I kinda don't hate that. Let's get underground sizzle. Blue, black, oko. Uh, already added it. This just makes a copy of a token, right? Yeah, cool. Because now we just get three threes every turn instead of two twos, which will add up, I imagine. Oh, it's a two two. What? <laughs> that didn't work at all. Oh, it still makes two twos. I thought the three three would have been copyable. I don't know how magic works, apparently. That was, in fact, a funny line. But, however, we still get to keep a three three at least. I don't know. Feels feels good to have these guys out. Oh, we just won the match, so all right, doesn't matter. So we've learned a bunch of things. One is that if you make a three three with Oko and you copy it, doesn't keep that three three. It just becomes a two two. The other thing is that Kappa Cannoneer triggers itself. I feel like I've played Kappa Cannoneer on Magic Online, and I don't remember it triggering itself. But maybe I'm just an idiot. I, I that's very possible. I'm sure it's a yeah, it's definitely a layer issue. I just never bothered to memorize layers, so. Yes. Uh, we'll keep this because it's still turn two, Isika's Chariot. Not if we shell dock though, unfortunately. We have to go water grave into water log, double water lands. We do get to play first. However, we draw Soul Ring. That doesn't do it. If we draw Mox, that does it. So. Just kidding. It doesn't do it because we are on the play. <laughs> We're doing well. Yes, these are only green. Rituale. Chariotto. A braid our chariot. Oh, you're just gonna kill my cat. That's sad. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, how interesting. Let's go this guy. Play this. Put Oh, Thopter's under there. That's sad. <sighs> I think I think I can't get a top thopter instead of a Nissa, right? Like that seems terrible. This is just the goat underneath a shell dock. Two mana for the seven mana Nissa. Come on. She makes seven sevens. Oh, that's a good one. No third land though, huh? That's a good one. I would love a creature that has two power. 
that I can attack this Minskin boo with. Very aggressive. Well, that's not it. And it also, we don't have a third black, so we can fatal push into him to Torak. I knew this. I knew this shell dock was going to be trouble. Man, that chain lighting was very, very productive. Just left us with nothing, you know. Like, we can put them to one, but then they get another 4-4 four, four out of it. Like, Minsk and is really, really good. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. I guess we don't have to kill the boo here. I think that's the key. We can just put Minsk down to, to one so they can't sack it. And then they don't get another boo here. Yeah, we're gonna keep Fatal Push up. Cause I don't really wanna take like seven million damage. Go for the eyes, boo. <clears throat> I see. So you're telling me I should have him to Torok. Oh dear. Yeah. Making another 4 4 and killing our Seeker's Chariot seems not terrible. Okie dokie. The 7 7 does die. I feel like we're not doing great. They're putting more counters on that little guy. This is 14 exactly, so they're probably like, we got him. But they do not got him yet. Yeah, that's why we kept the old him to Torok up. Or Fatal Bush, rather. If this was another black, we could have played both. Eh, that's not going to do it. All right. Well, they just have two four fours after this. God, Jesus, Minskin Boo is a fucking beating. Um, well, I think our deck is fine. I don't think we really need much here. I think I think our our, our hand was just a little bit awkward. Uh, this hand seems actually very good. This is a turn two Sentinel, turn three Grief. And we can sack a token to beseech for something. That seems really good. All right, fingers crossed this does the job. So Sentinel, getting a black source, probably a Bayou. Oh. One, two, three, four, five mana. Interesting. Do we just grief now instead? I don't think so. I think it's still Sentinel here.
Could just be Sentinel next turn. <clears throat> it's got to be Grief, right? Three four is bigger than a three two. I actually don't feel like they're gonna have a ton of things next turn. I think we're safe to just play Sentinel here and get the extra token. Uh no, there's no way I would play this right now. We're definitely gonna wait till we have a map token to bargain so we can put the card into play. Yeah, that seems fine. And now we get to save the Dark Ritual as well. So let's go get Um I guess we're getting underground. I guess that's all we can get, so that's fine. Show me what you've got. Interesting. It's definitely Nissa because you could play that next turn. One, two, three, four, five. Green Sun for four isn't as scary. Cityscape and Court is fine. Yeah, that seems okay. Give me those map tokens. Beautiful. All right. So we know your hand is these five and one other card. Court does nothing and they just lose the monarchy immediately. What do we have in our deck? We can get one ring. We can get fallen shinobi. I can't put it into play. We can get Oko, Palantir. We could also just get something like Archon of Cruelty because we have three, four, five, six, seven mana. And then we can do it the next turn. And we could also activate a map token and just hard cast an Archon of Cruelty next turn if we hit a land. Uh, I don't think so. Court says at the beginning of your upkeep, distribute two 1-1 one, one counters among two target... Oh, because of this? Yeah, but it doesn't happen until their upkeep. So, like, if they want to do that during their upkeep and they have only Green Sun or Cityscape Leveler to take advantage of it, we could also just go get a removal spell for this guy. Green Sun for two. Got it. Someone carry added. And Raging Ravine, which we didn't know about, so now we know all the cards in your little handy hand. This just gets a swamp, which is totally fine. Um, I'm actually very tempted to get to Beseech right now. And just get Archon, because now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we can just cast an Archon next turn. Draw land. I'll just thin a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have six mana, seven with a land. So they're not at level or territory, but we're just going to cast. No Barganos. And we're going to get Archon of Cruelty. Because that guy is Chef's Kiss. We know all four of these. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, definitely consider subscribing or following. There are a good number of people in the chat. I assume many of you are not followed or subscribed. So if you want to do that, it's a great way to support. I would personally really appreciate it. And it's a great way to, to help me in the new year. So, you know, what do they get? Forest? And there's the court. Court of Garenbrig. Yeah, they don't even know what's coming. We just steal the monarchy immediately, don't we?
This non-creature? Non-land. Okay. Uh, is it target player? No, it says it's controller creates. Okay, okay. Um, well, they're definitely sacking this, and they have three, four... <sighs> they're just going to kill our Archon, which is a bummer. But it's still something we have to do. Oh, actually, they're not the monarch. So then, if you're the oh, double you double the counters. Yeah, sure. They will not be the monarch. Look at me, I am the monarch now. Well, I wish we haven't drawn like four lands in a row here, but I think our last draws were like swamp, forest, forest, one ring. Because all things considered, we have Beseech got Archon. So non-mana cards, we have one, two, three, four. <laughs> not including like Dark Ritual and Mox. So that's not many. They're definitely going to play Cityscape Leveler here to kill the Archon. That guy's a beating yep that's pretty good anime dead come on come on it's unfortunate these are only a sorceries because we could actually kind of kind of scry course <laughs> makes makes total sense <sighs> well we can still do that and then consider let's use the fake mana first uh choose grief fantastic uh choose grief Put the revealed card into your graveyard. Him to Torok. Yes. Put the revealed card. Baleful Strix. No. Yeah, we're definitely just playing one ring here, I think. This guy's a 5-4. They have to block with two things. And then they can just block whatever's left with this guy, but they do have to block. We're looking for a removal spell. Yeah, like I feel like we can... If we attack with both, they're definitely blocking here and blocking with something else that we just get to eat. And they still have to... They're, they're losing both of these guys with this attack. And we still get a guy on board. And we get a map token. So that seems fine. Yep. Seems good. Yep. And if they attack with this, I guess they could, they could kill our other guy. So that's no bueno. Well, let's just draw Baleful Strix here. Play Blooming Marsh and pass. Okay, well, that's a guy. I don't really know how to deal with Cityscape Leveler attacking every turn. <laughs> that's kind of obnoxious. Sure. That's a lot of things. Kill my sentinel, I assume. 
Yeah. <sighs> no blocks. But we do have several things to draw here, so. And we're at 20. <laughs> Oko, perfect answer. Ah, uh, yes, the perfect answer. Oh, Animate Dead, also very good. Reasonable. Uh, this guy unearths for eight, which you're not really close to right now. Okay, I think we're in good shape here. That definitely clears things up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight mana. So I think we just, I think we animate dead the Archon first because we don't want them to sacrifice this because then they get to unearth it. So we're just gonna, oh, they just die. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just kills them <laughs> you, you know yeah sometimes you just overthink things you know got it okie dokie <laughs> our kind of cruelty is a hell of a magic card let's let's bring in toxic deluge because they have a lot more tiny idiots than I was I was expecting also, Contagion might be good. Hmm. Torox more like a four drop, let's be honest. I think we can cut Beseech. I think it's just too slow unless you're like using it for a combo that wins you the game. The negative one is really prohibitive though. Like if they have a Devoted Druid, I guess if they go to untap the Devoted Druid, it can kill it. What else they have? Ignoble Hierarch, it doesn't do anything against Tribe Elder. Yeah. Oh. Buddy, you have to stop. <sighs> yeah, this seems fine. Hmm. Well... I'm okay with this. Oh, I see. Well then. Green sun for two. Presumably devoted druid. Sylvan carry added. Nice. Oh, ho, ho. blue source. Come on. One time. Well, they have five mana next turn, which is frustrating. Give me that blue source. Okay. Oh, turn, turn two Nissa is pretty good. Can't really. It's frustrating. I thought our deck was great. Yep, and then we have literal no plays while they attack for six. Great. Love that. My kid, if we had animate dead, it'd been sick. We could grief, discard Archon, and animate dead. That would have been great. Yep. Pretty sure we're just losing this game because of. Mana Crypt and to carry out it into Nissa. And no blue source. Escape hitting Emrakul in four lands. Three lands in a Sylvan library? Sure, that's fine. So they have five mana still. Yep. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, court. Nice. Yep, that's going to be good. I feel like you probably should have attacked first. <laughs> There's a watery grave. Is it too late? 
That is the question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. They're one mana away from casting Emrakul, so I guess we can survive that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Like, fingers crossed they don't have just a way to get one extra mana. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Like, this is like the best draw you could have asked for, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, they didn't even cast anything with that, so that's fine. Always yes, always yield, even though it doesn't always do it. Let's go. Sack this guy. Yes. Block here and here. Take three. Yeah, not actually sure how to kill 10 tens. Like, we could literally draw a Toxic Deluge's turn and negative 10, but then they still have Nissa, Sylvan, and Court, so. Why didn't you play that pre-combat? You could have tap, 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 play it, and then attack with the 4-4 boo as well. I don't even know what's going on right now. I guess they're just dealing us... Is it 10? Oh, they, cool. I got a lightning bolt too. Got it. I guess because they want to just murder us. <laughs> Were they good games? <laughs> Were they? Uh, I mean, turn two misses. Okay, you got it. <laughs> I don't. I mean, okay. I mean, I'm just saying the games where I get turned to Fallen Shinobi. I don't think those were good games for the for the other person. That's all. All right, round three. Well, the Sheldock Isle screws us again. I wish we had a way to discard either one of these guys. We can't turn, we can't really do anything with this hand. I'm just gonna mulligan it. Oh, that's worse. Great. <laughs> Go to five. Sure, you know what? I guess this is our five. <laughs> Okay, Solaring Sheldock Isle, fantastic. Put you back, put you back. This is, this has been a... Hmm, that's not terrible. You okay, babe? What's the matter? What are you doing? You look suspicious. I'm, you know what I'm doing. What are, are you, you winning? No. Oh, good. Four lands. Fantastic. Yeah. This is just how this game's going to go. What are you doing? What's the matter? 
Okay. Again? Yeah. Okay. Well, that guy's a thing, and we could have cast this guy this turn had we... Had we played Sol Ring last turn. No, we couldn't have. We'd only have four. We could have... We could have ninjutsued him last turn. This turn. I'm just going to stop talking. The stream is actively worse with my... <laughs> With, with my with my brain right now. Really, two back to back matches where I'm playing against Castle Castle Court of Garenbrig. That's kind of funny. Okay, well that's a thing. There's two little kitty cat boys. Animate the dead pilgrim attack in ninjutsu. Man, the strategies are real. Well, we got two cats, so unless they play two creatures this turn off of three lands, they're going to play their own. Hilarious. They might not block because their creature, like their cats just get bigger next turn. Yes, block with one. Fantastic. <sighs> it might have been... I, I mean, if we attack with both cats, they definitely block one with Chariot, maybe? But then one gets through. Maybe that was correct. I don't know. Yeah, make sure you make a 6-6 six, six cat. That would be just Chef's Kiss. Yeah, we're definitely bringing Nature's Claim, that's for sure. Fantastic. Ah, oh, yes. Vigilance, haste, death touch. Great. However, with three cats, Fallen Shinobi can get in there this turn. So we'll see if that does anything. One, two, three. No, we're definitely just Fallen Shinobi in here. We lose two of our cats. Actually, we lose all three because we're going to bounce one. So they're all gone. All the cats are gone, and we're going to hope that Fallen Shinobi actually does something here. Let's see. We get the Monarchy. And we hit Kogla and Forest. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I will take a free land. I will also take a Kogla. Fascinating. Oh, what we can do here is actually kill both of these guys. That's fascinating. Oh, I guess I gotta I gotta add a black, huh? That's how that that's how magic works. We could also just not have it fight. I don't know if that's any good though. But I'd rather you not have a creature. Uh, on board, I guess. Belfal Strix is fine, I guess. Also, they have to attack if they want the monarchy back. So they either get the monarchy back or they... We should get to Fallen Shinobi again if they can't play two guys. Yeah. 
Never mind. <laughs> well, we get to keep the monarchy at least. We also have six mana. It's not terrible. Seven mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> All right, well, let's start with the Baleful Strix. Beseech. Interesting. We only have two black available, so we'd have to do it next turn. This guy. Oh, we can actually attack Chandra here, which is nice. Um... Makes another map token, but then we don't have any blockers. But I guess if they want to save their Chandra, they need to block. We guess I'll try to put the counter on the Sentinel. Yeah, let's do that. And we whiff. Unfortunate. Hmm. Do we let Chandra live? I guess we could just play Archon of Cruelty next turn, right? What do they do? They get to look at one card? No, that seems fine. And we get to draw another card. Don't be underground C. Okay. So we have one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I really wish this this monarch token was not in the middle of our lands. So that Yeah, we could have copied map token. I wanted this guy to be a four so that we can Asika's chariot him. And I wanted to keep Baleful Strix up. That's fine. Add two red to activate this guy, I presume. Oh, now you're doing something big. Yep, I just keep seeing Titan of Industry. I don't understand why there's so many Titans of Industry. Every match I'm playing is Titan of Industry match. Titan of Industry and Court of Garenbrig, they're all the, all the matches I'm playing. Killing Baleful Strix. Interesting. So if they activate this guy, we're def I'm definitely going to crew here. Because if they activate their own chariot, I want to be able to block profitably. But now they get to... There's no reason not to do that because then they get to copy a free rhino. Yeah, this is just a free... <clears throat> this, is just a, this is just value. Yep, free 4-4. Four, four. Did I bring in Toxic Deluge? Feels like it'd be good here. I think I did. Nope. This is game one. That's probably why I didn't do it. Uh, block. Yeah, get your little monarchy back. Yep, just make sure I keep hitting lands. I, I would really... Hate to hit more spells. <laughs> oh boy. Toxic Deluge for seven would be nut would be nice here. I guess we're just playing Archon of Cruelty here. They sack this thing. Sure. What's under here? Marsh Flats? Fantastic. Fantastic. I mean, if they don't have an answer for this, it's pretty good. Yep. Get rid of Savannah. We draw another land, because of course, that makes total sense. Why wouldn't we draw another land? Don't think we're attacking because then they just block with any creature, really. Yep. 
Yep. Boy, that's pretty good. Oh, boy. Yep. Two cards. What'd you get? Bird and Wild in the Cattle. Great. More things. Fable. Got it. Okay. God, I really wish we had Toxic Deluge in the main deck. Would gladly take nine to wipe this board. Just that guy. Oh, because Reach? Sure, that makes sense. Do we have a single card that can actually just kill... A Titan of Industry? God, I don't think so. That's pretty... That's pretty sad. Man. That's a bummer. They just... Sure. <laughs> yes. I will search for an underground sea. Yep. Oh, well, I found the answer, I guess. That's pretty good. Okay, well. Does that do it? One, two, black, black. I don't want to use double black for this. I think we're just going to play forest here. Oko. I want to be able to cast this off of the remaining mana if I if I am able to Okay, so what can we get with Beseech? We can sacrifice Mox Jet pretty easily. I think we just get one ring here. That seems pretty good. So one, two, three, four, five. Beseech with Bargain. Pay one, sacrifice the Mox Jet. Get the one ring. Yeah, I'll cast it, sure. Why not? We can also turn ring into a an elk when it becomes problematic. Grief seems good. Okay. I will lose the mana. Good deal. Oh, boy. Unfortunately, they keep the monarchy. But they don't have a flyer right now, so Archon literally just kills them if they don't have an answer. And they didn't use Fable ability. So they have to have an answer, I guess? Exile Noble Hierarch. I assume they're not going to play Noble Hierarch. Can they kill Oko? I think they can kill Oko here. Yep, that guy's fine. Unlicensed hearse. 
Are you just dead? You don't have any blockers for Archon, right? Yeah, okay, dies. You got it. Wait, what? How are you not dead to Archon here? What am I missing? Nothing has reach. They chose not to use this ability. They chose not to use the loot ability, right? Chose not to use the ability, what? but they have to look for an answer. You got me, man. That's weird. Yeah, but the draw has to be an instant speed removal at for three mana. Like that's, why would you choose not to use Fable? That's interesting. Definitely bringing in Deluge. Also think we're bringing in Liberator here. Fascinating. I'm gonna take out, I think we're taking out Beseech. I like Nature's Claim, but like, what did we see? What does it hit? Like, I mean, it hits Court. Court is kind of obnoxious. It also hits um, Fable and a Seekish Chariot. Yeah, I guess it's got a bunch of hits. I wonder if this combo is just not very good. Like the individual pieces just don't do enough for us. It's good, but we without a way to like search, if we're taking out Beseech, we have one less way to get the combo. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's a keeper, you know. I like that. Don't posage you my ring, bro. It only actually removes one mana if they did. A little Bloomin' Marsh. Next turn we can play Nissa, actually. That's pretty good. If they play Court, we can Nature's Claim it, then, then slam a Nissa. I like that. Chrome Mox. Color me fascinated. Ha ha! Yes. One more green. Oh, we can actually just, I think we just, I think we just actually deluge here. That seems better, right? They missed a land drop as well, so. Yeah, if we hit a green, we can Kogla and uh, fight. If we don't, we can just Nissa for six and make a five five. Sure. Get that chariot back. All right, this feels pretty decent. Mox Jet. Oh, unfortunately, we still can't cast her for three green. That's that's a that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, the greens are actually hurting us here. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, sure. Make a four four. Oh, they hit a land. 
I mean, we can always Nissa and kill their their chariot. Yeah, if we can draw a green here, it's very good for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we just cast that, right? Is that correct? Is that is that your boy? I see. Hmm. Fascinating. It is your boy. Yeah, no attacks here. I think keeping our permanence on board is a little more. Yeah, if you have to pay two for that when you have four mana, I'm pretty okay with that. Should have played the mox and tapped it for green. I didn't consider that, but I appreciate it. Oh, Savannah. All right, Ian. Oh, they just, <laughs> that's the end. Thank you guys for watching. That was a pretty sweet draft. That deck felt good. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.